Greetings and welcome to another edition of Odin Wright's Shit. Today I have for you a haul video from Todd Tots, which is a stationery store based in Singapore. They do a lot of Asian cute stationery and relatively, actually very cheap prices. Really, really good for um, the stuff they got there. Like a lot of the things are really aren't more than like five bucks or anything. So. I saw, I bought, I went and ordered these one specific items and uh, ended up getting another order for reasons I will explain later. But first, let's get into this. As always, they have like the cutest freaking packaging ever. Like this, I think, is either printed or stamped on with their little logos and stuff. There is washi tape all over the box. And it's really freaking cute. So, this is the main reason why, or actually the only thing that I bought with this order, which are these really freaking adorable, possibly refillable fountain pens sets. They are of a Chinese brand, which I've never heard, but they were cute as freaking hell. So it comes with a case, although I'm not sure what you're supposed to put in them because it's obvious the pen is too large so you can't put the pen in there but maybe it's just for the cartridges but we'll see we'll open those up and we'll test them out and then they gave me a couple of adorable freaking freebies and there is their business card and logos and stuff but they gave me this adorable notebook of a Persian cat and it's just a cute little notebook and you know I always freaking use those and they also sent me my cat's new favorite toy there's already bite marks on this but it's a little almost aloe plant leaf looking pen it's really freaking cute and it's just a regular uh, I think it's a rollerball actually it's one of the uh, paper and I think it's just a rollerball and I can see the, my cat from the corner of my eye he is totally eyeballing this Anyway, um, but yeah, black rollerball, really nice writing, very dependable, and I like this a lot. It was cute. Really awesome for a freebie. So that was the first order, and they only made the second order because I discovered two more styles of fountain pens. And I was just like, oh, that's not fair, but I need to get them anyway. So I did, and I got a little bit more carried away. So, this one was the second order, which also has some washi tape and ribbon on it. This came in a bag over it, so all the addresses aren't there. But it was wrapped in this wonderful crepe paper with a cute little butcher paper string on it, and it was adorable. And I got this one off their Etsy shop uh, because their website was out of stock on one of the designs, but their Etsy shop didn't, so I'm not sure what was going on with that, but... Regardless, I got these two what they call Parker style pens because it kind of looks like the mock vanishing point pens. I got the lovely dolphins and this bear of some form. They're both from the brand, oh god, Baijin, I think. But this bear is very happy, so that is the most important part. So I got those two and then I got carried away with some stickers. Actually, I got carried away with a lot of stickers, but. I ended up removing them from my cart because I just couldn't afford them all. But, these lucky cats are so freaking cute. So I had to have those for my collection. And then these little ghosted notes because they're cute. They come with little sticky memos and then a larger one to write stuff on. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these or if I'm going to buy like another pack to actually use. And then finally, these stickers. These stickers are so freaking pretty. They have so many different designs on them. Like, this is the, one of the sweet series. They had a bunch of others, like clovers and flowers and different kinds of sweets. But this is the one that I got because I like macarons, lollipops, and the pudding. And it was just really cute. So I'm going to be using these probably for resin. And for hoarding, but they're basically on tracing paper. They are so freaking cute. 
and I need more of them, but this thing was like five bucks, four bucks, something along the lines. But yeah, that is what I got for the haul. So I've got a couple of different fountain pens. I'm not sure if I'm going to test both of those or just open them all just because we're there. That. And yeah, that's what I got for my Todd Hot stuff. So I'm going to go... Oh yeah, the ghost of notes too. So I'm going to go play with one of these and test some out and get some paper. Because, yeah, we all want to see how this works. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one, the pink lover's one, love story one. And let's see what we've got. Oh, it's so fucking cute. Oh! What is this? What is this? Is this an eraser? It's kind of on the draw. Oh, no, it's not. What is it? Um, it's in Chinese. So, oh! Oh, it is an eraser! But, yeah, erasable pen! Holy crap, that's cool! Let's test this out! Oh, that's cool! Okay, so I've got four cartridges, which they are sealed currently, but I can probably refill them with a needle or something. Oh, these have the balls in it, so, like, yeah, I can just refill whenever I feel like. So, that is the unit. It's got, like, a varsity style nib to it. The feed is kind of in a clip style. Has these adorable, like the cap is really, it's actually pretty decent plastic. It's kind of akin to a preppy. This part is a little bit more softer than the preppies, but let's see. So it cannot be used as an ink dropper because there are holes on the end there that you can totally see through. So Cannot be ink drop converted unless you plug that up. So let's see what we've got here. Maybe you can jab it in there. There we go. Ooh, that's a satisfying click. All right, let's uh, work that down. I will put these cartridges in my pen case, probably. Uh, yeah, she goes together like that with a really satisfying. I like this pen. This one, I don't know if I mentioned the price, but I think it was like five or six dollars, US dollars, because um, they're in, obviously, Singapore dollars. But this is actually not a bad price. On par with a Jinho. Let's grab us some paper. And definitely can post this, which is cool. The size is kind of on the small side, but not too bad. Be sure you're positioning your clip off of your wrist, because it's kind of annoying and distracting, but... Oh, wow! That fed through practically immediately. Nice! I didn't need to argue with that at all. Ooh! I like that ink. It's flowy and smooth. This is a really fucking smooth pen. I am quite surprised. I am pleasantly surprised. Damn! Damn! Well, shit. Let me smell. It doesn't have too strong of an odor, too, which is nice. Because, uh, I've had, like, a pilot ink that I was not happy with. Oh, my God. Pilot Blue Black, if anybody's encountered that before, is strong smelling. It puts noodlers to shame. Wow. Hey, okay. Is that dry enough? Let's test out this eraser. And see... What happens? I'm probably doing this wrong because I don't have directions. Oh my god! Well, it kind of works. Eh. It's, it makes it less, hmm, present. But I can still see the stroke marks. It kind of works like those invisible inks or those color-changing markers. As you can see... The ink itself is gone, but kind of like the stroke marks or something in the base of the ink is uh, still being uh, still being present. This is really freaking cool, though, and I kind of want to try it on something else. 
let's let's see what it does to some platinum and some sharpie and yeah we'll try these three we'll try that too Mwah. let that dry <laughs> oh, that one stinks, I forgot. Needle, 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 needle. Okay. Now, while that is drying, let me work on some shitty paper and see how that performs because science. My notebook is covered in epoxy somehow. I have no idea how that happened. Even though I probably do have an idea how that happened. <sighs> Does this work here? Yeah. Okay, let's see what it looks like in the back. Ooh. This might work nicely for a double-sided writing, because blah 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 blah, beep, beep, boop. It's got the consistency of like any of those liquid ink pens, like the Univalve or something. Hmm. All right. Let's see what this does on regular paper. Yeah, no. It doesn't really erase it. You can still see the text. I mean, it kind of does. I don't know if you have to keep going at it or something. But by that point, my paper is really saturated. It kind of does show a shadow in the illustration as well, so that's kind of funny. But, yeah. It's kind of like any erasable pen that I've ever encountered, it doesn't really erase. Cool though! Cool and gimmicky. Let me test out the other bits. How about you, Emerald of Shivor? Nope! Ooh, I didn't even lift a mark on there. Well, kind of. Ooh, kind of. Yes, but no. It does act like a solvent, but I'm not sure if it's because it is a solvent or just because it's getting wet. Clean that thing off. Sharpie? Nope, Sharpie is not touched. This random marker from Platinum? Nope. What about you, Pelican Aquamarine? Nope. It's just moving because it's wet. So... And cute. Interesting. Yay! Then we have the blue set, which we will take a look at. Because I want to open all the things. Anyway, that is the blue one. It has a slightly different picture. Holding hands and kissy boops. How sweet. So I will put one of those... In here, it's got four more cartridges. Eh. Yeah, that click. <laughs> work, damn it. Your friend was easier to work with. Maybe because I was digging around with the other one too much, but anyway. There we go. Ooh. You also cannot write on top of it, which is interesting. So it must be just some sort of reaction between these two chemicals, which is cool. These are really cute. And I like them a lot, and I'm glad I was able to find something cute and... I believe the term is kawaii? to go into my fountain pen repertoire. So now we have these two Parker-style ones. 
the lovely dolphin, which is a lot bigger, which I think I would probably end up liking better. Hop up. And this lovely bear, which is purple. These cartridges don't look the same, so I'm not sure if they're going to be erasable or not, but I will give them a shot. So, we have pretty much the lovely dolphins, that's what it looks like. Two dolphins and some fish, some music. This is a taller and skinnier version, which is a little bit impairing on my big-ass hands. Then we have the short and stumpy version, which definitely needs to be posted. This is too tiny for me. So that goes there, and that one, that's a little better. And that goes there, which I generally like this, I just generally like the feel of this one better, but we'll play with them both. So, also cannot be ink dropped unless you plug that hole up on the bottom. This one might be able to be ink dropped depending on the seal between, if this is just a sticker or if this is one solid piece. I think. Let me check the bottom of that. Yeah. This one possibly could be an ink drop. Oh. Which I'm kind of glad I got more of this style of pen because I have the, um... Was it Jin Hao or was it... No, it wasn't Jin Hao, I don't think. Oh. It's this one. I don't remember what it is. I think it's the Hero 6... I think it's a Hero 616, but anyway, this one's got the Parker style thing, but unfortunately this one is balloon fill, and I'm not about that life. I hate balloon fill so much, I can't fill them, so I have to buy more ink that matches the ink that's in here, or throw the pen away, and I don't want to do that because I like the pen. Dilemmas! But anyway, and I got Park Pop Purple all over me. Did I already ram this in? Yeah, okay. Anyway, what I meant to say is basically I'm glad that I have that style of pen. That's not a balloon fill. So. These are probably fine points. They didn't really specify, but did I even get that in deep enough? I'm going to guess so. So we'll just leave that to tinkle. While we prep the other one. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, okay. There we go. Okay, so the other one probably isn't even broken. Right. Is this the right one? Yeah, that's the right one. Okay, we won't do that with a cap on. <laughs> well, that answered that question. Alright. There we go. Same thing. They look exactly well. Yeah, they're the exact same inks, pretty much. Maybe. Yeah. And they, of course, cannot react to the ink upside, so. Cute! Feels good. It's a really nice pen. It's like you buy a nice cheap pen that you enjoy a lot and then get sad because you're out of ink on it and you can't really refill it. Well, this one I can fucking refill, so that's awesome. Yay! I like this one a lot. It's cute. And I could probably refill it with whatever the hell I want. So, let's try the other one. Same thing. Ooh, this one the nib is a little drier. Scratchier. Those other ones aren't very scratchy at all. Ah! 
There we go. There we go. Once the ink flows, it feels a lot better. I approve! I like these pens. Um, I will leave the links down below of the Todd Tots shops and Etsy's. Um, on their website, if it's out of stock, you can still back order it, but it will take a long time. Like, I ordered these well in February, I think? So, don't get frustrated. They will come. Or even order from Etsy or something. Whatever you guys prefer. I think that'll do it for this edition of Odin Writes Shit. Let me know your impressions and what colors you would like to get. And of course, if there's anything that I need to be trying out right now, feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I will see you next time.